So, what attracted you to Stockton Town? Um, to be honest with you, it was the whole setup of the club. I think it's, it's really well run. Uh, it looks like a great club. Um, and it's somewhere where I think it's a club that's on the up, to be honest. Um, and I think in years to come, it's, it's a hugely ambitious club. So, it was a no-brainer for me, really. Yeah, and of course, from a title-winning season last season with Mask, what was the vibe like with that squad? Really good, to be fair. Obviously, we took a bit of a hit when we got beat off Stockton in the semi-final of Vars. But uh, we picked ourselves up, and to be honest, the morale and everything in that squad was brilliant. We had a great team, um, and to do it in the, the manner of we did with all the games was, was incredible, to be fair. It was something I was really proud to be a part of. Yeah, what was it like playing in the semi-finals down at here? Yeah. <laughs> I'd say it was good. Obviously, I didn't get too many minutes on the pitch, but... Um, it was nerve-wracking, it was tense, um, it had everything really, I think, and uh, from a neutral's perspective, it was brilliant, obviously for yourselves, it was great, I mean, part of Mask, it obviously wasn't so good because we wanted yeah. to win, but no, it was a great, great game, and obviously you were nothing the fan. Yeah, and what are the differences between, say, here and then Gisborough and Mask, the two other clubs you've been at in the uh, Teesside um, region? There's not a huge amount of difference, really, just probably the, the structure of the club, in terms of the, you know, the ground, the facilities, I think, um, you know, mask facilities aren't the best, but they still would do well with what they have. Um, I think here it's a completely different setup. It's a 3G pitch, which is what I love playing on. To be honest, I think it's a lot easier to play on. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a great setup. Yeah, and uh, you were a performance analyst with Middles, but now you're a scout. How does that affect your time playing as a, a player? Um, to be fair, my boss is really good with me, um, and he, he you know lets me play as well as scout, which so I get the best of both worlds, which is perfect. I don't miss many games this season, maybe one or two. Um, obviously the job does come first, but um, no, I, I'm lucky to have that balance where I can do both. Um, so I can enjoy my time playing and also enjoy scouting as well. And can you bring elements of what you learn there into your actual when you're actually playing? Definitely, yeah. I mean, uh, obviously when I'm when I'm on the bench, or if I'm on the bench, I uh, I'll do I'll just watch players as I would at work. I never really switch off to be honest. Um, it's something that's just you know it's a habit now with, with when it comes to the job, but. Uh, but no, it does help. I think having a playing side of it as well as scouting, it, it does help. I think a lot of successful players have gone on scouting and other stuff in football, and I think it does help. Yeah, and uh, what are your ambitions for the new season? Um, to be honest, I'd like to really push this season, uh, if we can. Obviously, I'm not sure what the club's ambition is, but my personal ambition is I want to try and, you know, try and win the league if we can. I know, obviously, some budgets at other clubs are a lot better than here, but still, I think we've got a good squad, a good set of lads, a good management team. So I hope we can do it, give it a really good go and hopefully we'll go a step further and get to the final and win it, hopefully. Alright, thanks for that.